Hey, how's it? This is the foundation. How about them Cowboys? Cowboys beat the Falcons 22-19 to on a Brett Maher game-winning field goal, um, which I uploaded that reaction yesterday, but it was it, that was even fighting me. Um, uh, <laughs> I uploaded the first time, so I went to check on it. And it says it's been removed by, by it's been removed by the user, and I said I didn't touch nothing. And then and then um, then I tried to re reupload it a few times, and it kept on saying error. And then I was just about to give up, and then but it, but then finally it, it allowed me to finish the upload. Um, I had to rewatch this game because I was dead tired. I was up from the ten o'clock Saturday night to what since the cup, uh, game comes on at eight o'clock, so basically. Around 11, 30, 12 o'clock, I was just like, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna crash. I'm, I'm gonna go down because I, didn't re I want to rewatch the game too because I know there was a couple parts where I just wasn't there fully. Uh, but yeah, but yeah, so, so, so I rewatched the, I rewatched the game and all that. Um, huge props to our defense. I mean, you know, we got two games, we win back-to-back -back games for the first time all year, and we win two back-to-back -back road games, but it is all, a lot has to do to our defense. I mean, you know, allowing 28 points and the way our defense played against the Titans to come back and allow only the Eagles 20 points, and then come back and even do it better on the road to the, to the Falcons, who has been uh, very good at home as far as putting points. You know, I think the average, I hope I'm not pumping up the Cowboys even more, but I think they average around over 30 points a game. So, huge props to our defense to not not only that, but even being better than the Eagles game by allowing only 19 points and only one touchdown. So, that's huge props on our defense. And we was missing some guys too. We was missing Taco. You know, I know he's not a fan favorite. You know, him and Daniel Ross is, you know, rotational depth guys. Antoine Woods has been, you know, a solid player. And then, you know, David Irving, we have all our high hopes for him, but he's not around, so, you know, there's nothing to cheer for with him. Um, but our defense, I mean, they, were, they came out, you know, we got some pressure on it. I think we had about like four sacks, I think. Um, could have three interceptions. Uh, Millie Collins, I wish he would have got, because that was like really early in the game. That would have been a huge statement for our team if they did that. Uh, Jeff Heath had almost had one, but then the, the man of the hour and the most poetic, probably the most poetic justice right there, LVE gets the interception. And, you know, because Calvin Ridley, who a lot of Cowboys fans wanted in the draft, was set their wheels th thinking, you know, I wanted other guys, but, you know, but LVE was the guy that they, they picked up. And how ironically that how often, how often do we see our wide receivers Go to catch the ball, gets goes right to their hands and ends up right into the defender's hands. You know, I've seen that with that Des and T Will last year. Seen it with you know, you know, even a couple of our receivers this year. You know, uh, um, Deontay Thompson and all that. You know, we, you know, there are some things that, that, and so how ironic is it that the same thing happened, but is from one guy that a lot of people say we should have drafted to the one that we got. Ray landed right in his hands and you know he had a monstrous game I mean that reverse on the attack on the reverse that was that was good you know Janet Smith was doing his thing also D-Law um, but yeah so our defense was just just you know they kept us in the game and you know I I was glad that the, the offense finally responded when they did because you know, you only can ask your defense to do. I, I asked for the defense to step up one more time, but you know, to the, the offense finally rewarded them on those last on those last couple of drives and all that. Um, shouldn't have been that way at all, but but yeah. And then now to the you know, with, and then with the offense, um, you know, this around this time last year, Zeke was robbed of six games. Tyron Smith was injured. Uh, Dak, you know, he was. He openly admitted that this was the game that he he was shook, and all that. You know, he was he, his confidence got shaken. You know, in this game, and and everything. Uh, but anyway, this, you know, what the thing that bothers me is like, 
about you know and I don't mean to be kind of negative but the thing is I want to see it improve is that we march right down the field like nothing and we only get a we only get a field goal out of it I mean the play call was good for Beasley but then he's like when when he drops the pass he's like see why you never get to Z and that's the thing like you know hey Make sure that I mean this. This try and make them stop Zeke before you try something like that with 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 Cole Beasley, you know. And I mean I understand that Cole Beasley responded after that. He got some couple big catches after that, but at least give Zeke the opportunity to at least try, you know, and, and everything. Um, took Amari Cooper a little while to get in the game, but he eventually got there. Uh, so him and Zeke was kept catching a lot of. Catching a lot of underneath stuffs and then slowly by slowly and then Zeke was just dominant in this game. Um, you know, Tyron Smith had a great game. You know, he had a little stinger, but you know what? He said he's fine. Uh, Suofilo had a good game. So hey, keep him in until until he and, until until it's proven otherwise. You know, keep keep the hot hand. <laughs> But yeah, so so he had a, uh, so he had a good game, and then Zeke was just dominating. He was he was you know making big you know he wasn't getting like 40, 50 yards, but you know five, six, 13, five, seven, nine. You know he was just, and then finally on that big run you know to the to the end zone that was a huge one. Um, like I said, Kobe easily like, responded by kept having that good catch. Um, Got, him, got got us close, and then we got um, on the Dak uh, keeper. Dak, you know, Dak wasn't perfect. He missed some throws early, um, missing a lot of throws early. But then when it needed to be done, he did he did his thing. Um, Michael Gallup, he had a huge third down pickup. Uh, really quick though. Uh, sad to hear that what happened to him. What happened to his family. Uh, so not nothing but the best wishes. I mean, it must suck that you're having a great, you know, a great day. You, you're, you and your teammates celebrating, and then you you hear this tragic news. So uh, keep your head up, man. You know, like, but you know, just keep your head up. Uh, so yeah, that sucks. Um, but like I said, though, like we 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 could have been up bigger. You know, we, we probably wouldn't have needed Brett Maher's lab last game winning you know if 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 the thing you know with with the first touchdown that should have happened uh the extra point you know uh malik Collins, you know that could have that could have added three points at least you know <laughs> so there's a lot of things that could have happened for us that would have been better um and then even on the final drive i mean who knows if they would even scored you know last one or jeez bruh i mean i don't even know what the I, I can't even say like okay, like okay, maybe that was a little bit too sensitive on the on the referee's part. But the guy was at least at least two yards outside the the out of bounds, and you still nailed him. I was just like, oh my god, because they would have to go on what 80, 83 yards or something like that. I mean, damn, you know. But hey, we 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 got the win, you know. Um, we played a Rex, Rex games. I'll, I'll get that video out in a little while. Um, before I go into that that thing, I'll do that video probably tomorrow um, or probably Wednesday. Um, but the thing is, is that you know, before we get all big headed and all that kind of stuff, just remember 2014, Corpo quite beat us, and we had Romo at the helm too. So, no. Do not take this for granted. We need this win. Alright. Mahalo for watching. Party all the boys. And like always, go Cowboys.